Hello guys, welcome to Pandas Functions for Everyday Data Analysis Tutorial. Today, I will show you five different ways to filter data from your data frame. The first one is logical operator. You can use the logical operator on column and values to filter rows. Let's assume you have a data frame uh, which contains name, birth date, and country. And you want to filter birth date, which is greater than some year or date. So you can apply the logical operator and filter the rows from your data frame. That is the best uh, way to filter uh, uh, rows from your data frame. For instance, you can filter the birth date, which is greater than or equal to 9830102. So you can apply just uh, this condition and you can filter the data frame. If this condition result is either true or false. If this condition is true, it's going to be retrieved or filter the data from your data frame unless it will not re uh, return uh, or filter the rows because that fil uh, rows or that values are uh, not available in your data frame. All right, let's see, try to see the result of this. Uh, so from our data frame, our data frame uh, contains 10 rows and three columns. From that, I have filtered one, two, three, four, five, six uh, rows, which is the birth date greater than or equal to 983. So this is one way. This is a logical operator to filter your rows from data frame. Uh, only the birth dates that greater than the given date is filtered. The others going uh, not be filtered because that condition not uh, be satisfying the rows of your data frame. And the second one uh, way is multiple logical operators. You can also apply multiple logical operators to filter uh, data. Uh, you can uh, use uh, conjunction to combine uh, one more logical operators. Pandas are loose for combining multiple uh, multiple logical operators. For an instance, you can apply conditions on both name and birth date columns as below. Uh, for example, if the name column, the value of the name column uh, greater than John, which means the name comes after John, which is uh, in alphabetical order, then which combines the then the condition of this is true. And uh, the second condition is about the birth date, which is greater than 1918. And uh, both the result is true in end condition. Then it's going to be uh, filtered the data from the data frame. And you can see the result of this. Uh, from this, we, uh, we got the result uh, two, three, four, uh, one, two, three, four rows from our data frame. Uh, which the names uh, comes after John in alphabetical order and the birth date, which is greater than 1983. This is uh, another way to filter rows using multiple uh, logical operators. Only the name come after John and birth date that are greater than uh, the given date is filtered, which means that condition is satisfied uh, true. And another most important thing, especially this is a function that's going to be filter rows from your data frame. Very useful way of applying multiple conditions for filtering rows from your data frame is in. Especially if you have a list of uh, items and you want to compare the list of items uh, from uh, your data frame and filter which is the uh, filter the rows from your data frame, which is uh, exist in the list. The value of that uh, column is exist in the uh, list. Uh, let's assume you can filter the names that exist in a given list. For example, this uh, list of Carl, Kathy, and Scott. Then the data frame, we can apply data frame name. The name is in the list, which is found in the list, it's going to be uh, filter, which means that is uh, true. This condition return is uh, true or false. If false, that does not exist, and it's going, to, uh, it doesn't return any, uh, or it doesn't filter the uh, rows from that data frame. If it is true, 
that's okay is going to be uh, filtered. So this is one way and uh, we can uh, see that Katy Martin, Kari Morgan, only three rows uh, can be filtered from the data frame. This is the most important function to filter, especially if you have a list of items to compare from uh, your data frame. And the other, the fourth most important function of course, a little more flexibility at writing the condition for filtering is query. Query is one of the function in Pandas to filter uh, rows from your data frame. And uh, so this uh, function uh, passes the conditions as a string, uh, not like in, in the previous one. It is uh, just passing the conditions, the lo logical operators as a string in the function. For instance, the following code returns the row that belong to the birthday date B2190. H3 and 2022. BF query, and we just passed, this is the data frame column name, greater than uh, 1983 and birth dates, which is less than 2022. So it's going to be filtered, uh, which uh, the birth dates is in between 1983 and 2022. So, the condition is uh, passed as a string. It is enclosed by uh, quotation. So it's going to be filtered, which uh, this condition is satisfied, which is uh, a return is true. All the rows can be uh, filtered. This is very, very important. The, especially the two functions are very important is in and uh, query. Uh, so filter to filter data from your data frame. And another, the fifth one uh, in today's lesson is tidy. Tidal is the operator is used for not logic in filtering. While filtering your data, if you wanted to filter the opposite of the logic the, or the logical uh, operator, you can use tide, uh, tidal uh, operator uh, before the uh, logical op, uh, or the logic. So in this case, for example, uh, I have used the is in uh, function to filter uh, the uh, names which is exist in the list. Uh, if I wanted to filter the names which is not exist in the list, I can just uh, use this function, but I put title before this uh, operator or logical uh, condition so, uh, before this condition, title this one. So it's going to be filtered all the names from the data frame which is not exist the name is uh, not exist in the list uh, item, in the list item here, all the names. So this is very, very important uh, way of filtering data from your data frame. So today's are those uh, very important functions or ways to filter data from your data frame. Next time I'll bring another topic about uh, data analysis. Uh, subscribe, like, share my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching today.